it's Path of Gaming right here, right now, bringing you another coaching video with paper. Welcome. Or welcome back. Whoa. Rather, welcome back, man. Yeah. So okay. what are what are we doing? We're grabbing a sword here, right? Yeah, we are grabbing a sword here. And this is a current patch? Or last patch? Um yeah, this this was yesterday. So this was the this was not this is ten point two five or whatever. This okay. is eleven. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I mean the the changes are very minor. We didn't get oh we got a sword. We got a sword, okay. You scared me there for a little bit. Oh, interesting. So I should watch so your stream's gonna have more delay than this from the Discord call. I'm I think I'm oh, sharing you with you on Discord, right? Yeah, you are. I just had it Yeah yeah had it six was on my phone, but now I see it's better. So I Like the the stream is obviously delayed by I don't know, like five, ten seconds, so just look at the Discord call. Yep. Done. So now we got a sword. That that's good. Yeah, I was happy. I mean, another I sword. That, All right, Death Blade. Death Blade is probably one of the strongest early game items. Or I just like Death Blade. Mm -hmm. Really, like I value it very highly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I sort of look at it as um, if I have a vein to hold it, I'm happy to do it. I don't love doing it. Um, like if you have a, a chosen Wu Kong or there's there's been a few situations I've tried it and I, I really only like to death blade early if I have that the range to auto attacker. You have sharps now? Sharps or hunters, yeah. Nice. Um that's okay for now, but I mean obviously you're not gonna keep the yeah. Keep that yeah. board. This is just me leaving open it's the same as last time I'm like i could still try to play um uh hunters slash moonlight from here yep. I yeah yeah, yeah. Item and I think hard hard to play it i completely agree happens. here completely agree so first decision what do we do yeah i think if i'm correct we haven't had a Chosen yet? Nope, right. we have not. Oh no, oh no. Exciting. This uh, is it's Timo over over Nidley though. Agreed. Yeah. Definitely Timo over Nidley. I'm not even sure I recognize her. Or him. Oh that was scary. Timo would have won that. Oh and you're not buying the Timo. Oh damn it. Yeah, well I knew why I wasn't buying the Timo there because I was saying that if I get a Moonlight chosen I'm swapping, so I didn't want to sell any of my Moonlight units. Okay, but fair point, fair point. I do agree that Timo would have been a stronger board on the previous one. Um, right? Okay, okay, so, okay, wait, 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 wait. That, that's actually wrong. That is actually wrong. Uh, okay. Why is it wrong? The, the, the thing you mentioned of Moonlight units. Why is it wrong? Um, to take time, you're saying? Or to try to force Moonlight? Uh, Diana is not a unit anymore. Diana is just trash. So the only Moonlights you want are Ophelio, Silas, and Lissandra. You never want Diana. Mm -hmm. Like if you want to play, like as soon as you send the Deathblade, you can never play Diana. Because mm -hmm. you either have like Moonlight, Lissandra, Ophelio, or Silas, right? Like those are the, mm -hmm. the three ones you can play, but it's like never Diana. So yeah. So here, I think it would have been Teemo over Diana, just to buy the Teemo. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, now you can, you can lose. Like, imagine if, if the Wukongs are blind. Like, yes, you, you do end up winning here, but it's kind of scary. Yeah. Nice. There we go. There we go. That's the play. There we go. You finally put in the better brawler. Can we level up here? No, we cannot level up. We would have to sell a pair, which we definitely don't want to do. Okay, our positioning could be a little bit better. Uh, you did. Also, if I'm super weak here, but I, I, I decided I actually want to put as many units between myself and my vein, or whatever my my board and my vein. Yeah. What should I? Well, what do you think about Nudu in the back, next to Nidley? 
so my thought process was one, obviously I, I learned from last time of Elderwoods, but since I didn't have Elderwood buff, I didn't care there as yeah. much. And then I wanted him to ult, and I think that given where we are in the game, no one has enough damage to one shot him. Okay. So I wanted him to try to grab, grab, grab aggro and eat someone on the front line. Okay, fair point. Fair enough. But I mean, if someone uh, positions well, they can jump into the back, and you're screwed. Mm -hmm. While well, the Nunu's there, the Nunu will like the Nunu will eat whatever jumps jumps there. Mm -hmm. Even if they corner jump, because obviously if, if Nunu's in the back middle and they just generally jump to the back middle, Nunu will take aggro. But is it will he if they jump into the corner? So pretty much if they were going to vein first, would my Nunu still? Um, Go on to them. Uh, that's tough. Like it, it just depends if there's front line. Like if there's something closer, it'll go to the, the closest unit. Mm -hmm. So it's like actually the way it, it works is like it's uh, a click from like any sort of game. If you know a click, right? Attack move. Yeah. So it's moving up and attacking, right? So it's mm -hmm. there's a grid here. So yeah. So it moves up one tile. And looks to attack anything. If there's nothing there yet, it'll move up another tile. Then auto, then like move up to attack. And if there's nothing over here, it'll just go over here. Gotcha. Right? Yeah. So another way to do it is actually to put the Wayne here in this nook. Put the Nidley next to mm -hmm. her and the, and the Nunu here. So if anybody wants to mm -hmm. jump, it'll jump right here. And it's one out of three that it'll start attacking uh, uh, Wayne. And it's very likely that Nunu's going to stay there and, like, help fight it off. And possibly eat it. Mm -hmm. So just, like, these minor position things that, that could be better. Um, yeah, you sell, the, you sell the Silas and the Thresher. You have to to make 10. And you're singing. That's nice. <laughs> you're happy. <laughs> Glad that you're happy. Um, I think I was just happy. Yeah, I hit a fortune ante without having to roll. Oh, you would never roll for that. Uh, you want to make the spark, well, no? you didn't see the game before this. Oh, you actually rolled for it? Wow. That seems very risky. Because that, yeah. My thought process was, if you're on a three-win streak and you're pushing fortune, you make so much gold by both making yourself strong in order to continue to win streak and to find fortune. So I was literally comfortable losing 10 gold because that's okay. one guaranteed econ potentially to get whatever four. But you're not guaranteed to find the fortune. Yeah, you're not. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely not 100%. So you can roll 10 gold, like completely like send your, your econ to the gutter and get nothing. And, and you really don't think that's worth it? Like what, what is in your eyes the difference between like a playing for first, playing for fourth? Obviously playing for fourth, is, you, you wouldn't do it. Just like playing, yeah, playing for first, you do it, you find the Eddie and you get first. Playing for fourth, you would never do it because it's risky and it's not guaranteed. Mm -hmm. So, like, the fewer risks you take, the more likely you are to get top four. All right. And then, if so, if I didn't hit fortune, would you sell, ever sell Kench uh, around wolves because you still haven't found fortune to put in? Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Do you still hold it? No. Uh, it depends. Like, if you have brawlers, you can just run four brawler with two stars on Kench, for example. Mm -hmm. Wait, do you have, no, 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 two brawler? Yeah, you just, just brawlers. And maybe, like, like... A general rule of thumb is, once <laughs> once you start losing, that's when you have to sell your chosen. It's like very easy, very simple like that. Mm -hmm. At least that that's that's like the way I approach it. Like, once I start losing, I sell my chosen. So once he starts falling off, but he's good front line. Like, the whole point is you need front line. Mm -hmm. Because it's gonna be oh yeah. shit. Okay, never mind. Wayne's popping off. Oh oh double. Sh oh yeah. wow. Almost got a heart attack. Good. And we get some extra gold. Right? Nice. Yeah. So you can pick up the Thresh again, I guess. Or Janna. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I would get the Thresh for, for Dusk, potentially. But yeah. yeah. I can't remember what... I, I may end up doing it before the end of the round. But you're right. Deathblade Wukong is not as powerful as Death, Deathblade uh, Sharpshooter or yeah. Hunter. I um I don't like the the what what's it called not slamming the spark. Mm 
I don't like that. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I that had crossed my mind when when I had bought the cloak. I mostly got the cloak just to have a three cost unit, and I was curious about Spark. You know, I was thinking like it could go on my Tom Kench, but I was too worried about putting it before seeing what my items were off of uh, the rock one because right now what I'm thinking is like I probably want to play Warwick. So I wanted to see if I could get a bow. Okay. Pretty much where it was in my head. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Maybe that was too greedy. Um, again, that's playing for first, not for fourth. Mm. And this is this is playing for eighth. This is playing for eighth. I he has a thief oh, class. He has an IE. Him. He has a GA. Like you gotta make something, man. Like I don't know what the hell this guy's doing. That's exactly what I said in my commentary right yeah. here. If you unmute it, because I couldn't understand why he didn't slam even a single item there. Probably both, but like... And I don't think he's on a full loss streak. It doesn't seem like he's on a full loss streak either, so... Like, mm -hmm. what the hell, I, man? I what the hell are you doing? Oh, wow, you're... Yeah, you're extremely rich. Mm -hmm. And like, in my head, I'm just figuring out how I'm going to make 30, but I'm not too worried about it. Um. Well, I'm definitely thinking about leveling up, right? After after creep round, on six, yeah. After We're creep round, six on three one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause I mean, fortune is kind of weak. Like the units are not that. Like I mean the, you have a useless. Oh okay, so there's the there's the runans. Yeah, runans is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I just slam the runans, and you get a ribbon. Yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah. So Riven here, yeah. You pick up the Riven. Yeah. I mean, you don't even have to. Oh my God! And you get. Oh, wow. And I guess Rod on Riven. Um, I don't think I end up doing that. Okay. I might. And right here, I'm I'm a little annoyed. I was like seriously considering playing Six Fortune, uh, because I was close, but like. I, I wish I just played for Econ and didn't try to play Fortune. Because you're not you're not close. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, what do you mean Econ? Um, two, Selling. four, six. Yeah, you could tell everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely do that because you're at twenty. Like it's it's rare, like getting to thirty is kind of important. Yeah, uh, I, that, that's something I, I realized like after I didn't. So you'll see the next turn. I'm yeah. like, Wait, no, I have to just sell like. No, you don't. You don't sell the pair. Oh, you didn't sell the pair. Yeah, you, you would sell Nunu or you, yeah, like everything yeah. else would go. Because okay, how do you even play Six Fortune? That's the thing. How do you even play Six Fortune here? You would get so much weaker if you put in Six Fortune. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you would have to take out yeah, think... Riven and Elise. You'd have to take out Riven and Elise. And level up for Sajrani, yeah. and you'd have six fortune, but I think you'd be weaker. So I don't think it's worth it. Mm -hmm. I think six fortune is, is just a bait. Like, yeah. Yeah, took your took your turn. You realized, yeah, nice. I mean, it cost you like one gold. It's not the end of the world. Mm. So yeah, this this has to be a first. So surprise me. <laughs> yeah, just high roll more, man. Just high roll more. No worries. Like just a two star in your shop. Why not? Mm -hmm. And that's, <laughs> that's the general point of this game. Is I really want your opinion for how I play stage four, five, and so on. Okay. Given that this was such a high roll. And you found a Kenny. I don't have a. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah kind of. <laughs> it just keeps getting better. Uh, did we talk about Silas positioning? I think we did. Yes, we did. But I was trying to give him keeper value. Is that not? Is that not smarter? Should I still frontline Tom so that way I can put Silas behind him and go around? Uh, you should uh, here. You should make fifty. No, not the new news. What? What is this? What is this for? Honestly. Great question. I know I, I left in Italy because I was thinking I might pour Shark to main my carry going seven. Okay. Uh, there's no real reason for me to hold um, Elise, Janna. But then you can't hold both of Okay. Okay. Fair point. 
Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll look at the, the board and I'll tell you how you can get... Okay, yeah, here's the board. So why not, like, move the Kenny just like... You can, or you can move the Silas back and put the Tom Kench up or something like that, right? Or like you can move the Tom... I guess it's kind of okay, but like you can move it around so that Silas is kind of one square more back. So Tom Kench would be here where Silas is and and mm -hmm. Silas would be where Riven is, like be, be, next to Riven. I mean, it doesn't matter that much. Like you're... I liked it. Yeah. yeah. I'm just... Yeah, I mean, I'd like to see how it goes off. I'd almost be a little worried if, with that positioning, then my ribbon would take aggro a little too quickly, but I don't know. No, she, she won't. She can't. She can't take aggro because Tom Kitch is in front and Silas is beside her. So, like, anything will attack this or this. Like, I, I'm saying it'll be next to Riven. Like, one will be in front of Riven, one next to her. Okay. So, there's no way she'll no, take aggro. Yeah. But Silas can slam a bit better if he gets a lucky slam. Oh, that's a Sichuani. Oh, no. Okay, so you picked up a Sichuani. Well, yeah, but I'm not trying to play six yep. position here. I simply was... Uh, uh, there's only a rock left, and since I'm saying that I... I guess... So I remember I was saying I didn't want to slam lock it when I have keepers, so I always feel like yep. it's a very awkward positioning, but... So definitely Tom Kench, uh, Silas switch, right? In the front, Silas, yeah. So how do you feel about Jeweled Gauntlet or Deathcap? Oh, because you're, you're um, still keeping, you're still keeping uh, Warwick open, okay. But then, then Deathcap could work. Uh, yeah, Deathcap could work. Yeah, I should still probably eventually slam Deathcap. I agree. Yeah. But I. I'm just enjoying the fact that yeah, I beat the strongest person in the lobby there and kept my streak. And so I'm pretty much thinking I'm going to go nine. I'm not even yeah. rolling at eight. Uh, this guy is I'm pretty strong. That... I don't remember this guy. He's just in reroll? Or no, he has... No, right? he has hunters. Okay, that's... Because I just played this and I got second, almost got first, playing Moon Man. Rolling like mm -hmm. a complete idiot, and I just got an easy second. I just kind of forced yeah, I mean, it. It's very forcible. It yep. really is. The only issue is if you're um, facing, uh, if you're contested, and then all of a sudden it can be tricky. Yep. One of the issues of the block. Then you don't bother. Like, I just found a Lissandra, Moonlight Lissandra, so I'm like, okay, fuck it, I'll force. Like, no, no problem. Mm -hmm. Do you like playing Bloodthirster if you have Moonlight Lissandra, or, or do you still go for a more of a Rageblade Hodge? Uh, I had Rageblade Hodge and Deathblade. It was completely insane. I don't love Deathblade on him late game because his base AD is so high. Oh, yeah, Deathblade. fair point, fair point. Yeah, yeah, so it was really, yeah, that's why. It was really strong early, and then I guess I couldn't get a first because Deathblade, like, didn't do that much. Uh, I would level up here for uh, Vanguard. I was I was thinking it, but because I'm playing uh, whatever fast nine, I'm saying I'm just gonna wait. Like I'm gonna greed as much money. If I t take a bad loss, then I'll reconsider. But I don't care as much about streaking stage four. four. I just want to see if, if wow. I can go five two or something. You can, yeah. With fortune, you definitely can. And you get a Warwick, holy yeah. crap. Nice. And, not, and now we're reaching the part where I start to get really confused because you can see my bench is huge right now. And I, I don't know, like, to what extent, like, should I be trying to say, because obviously I don't want a hard force account right now because I have econ and I have levels. But, like, should I be holding on to just the four cost units and then see what happens when I do eventually roll down? Am I trying to already pivot out of... Four? Well, I don't want to pivot out of fortune for nothing, seven, but I'm, yeah, I wasn't sure what to do for the next, like, five rounds. All right, so what's the... Oh, shit, you sold her. Never mind. Who did I, I sell? Uh, Jinx. I would have put Jinx back in. I would have put Warwick and Nunu in. 
Um, I'm going four brawlers. Yeah, and you and you and you keep the ribbon. So you have four brawlers, cause like you have two brawler, two vanguard, but you would have four brawler. I mean, Sejuani ulti is really powerful, so it's not end of the world. But I, I would probably mm -hmm. put four brawler, cause Warwick is super strong. Mm -hmm. And you could, yes. or yes. or alternatively, you could just consider pivoting out of out of uh, this into Warwick already. Like if you get a QSS right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, here you can sell. Um, you can you sell Janna, Nunu, yeah, and I, Janna, Nunu, Annie. I would sell. Yeah, I don't remember exactly all the people I sell, but I definitely made fifty here. I still know on him. Oh shit! Okay. Nope. Oh, I don't. Just, just kidding. I I thought I actually did sell. I I knew I was. I'm sure, but I You can't, I you can't actually, uh, you could have sold the, the Yumi as well, honestly. Like, Yumi, Nunu, yeah, I mean, I Yumi, Nunu, Nunu and Annie is. would be 8 gold. Yumi, Nunu, Annie would be 8 gold, for example. Mm -hmm. So that's another 1 gold you missed. Yep. But that's, like, no big deal. Oh, nice, okay. Lee Sin's kind of whatever, but he's decent, like, this early. Exactly. I really like Lisa. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Honor. I'm thinking, how do we uh, how do we pivot into Hunter here? I'm thinking that pivoting into Hunter is still a possibility because I these items can go pretty much my thought process was if I don't get a QSS, I could play Ash with these items and yeah. I still have like general. I e to, Deathblade um, Runans Ash, yes, please. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so interesting. So you're thinking that I'm, I maybe should have actually built IE to play that for Ash? Or are you still fine with waiting for QSS? Uh, like, in your position, like, right now, waiting is fine. Uh, yeah, you're selling... Oh, never sell Lux, though. I agree. Lux, Lux is better than Ken. I, I think the reason why I didn't sell Ken here was, like, oh, I still don't know. Like, maybe I'm playing Riven. I, I had no idea what I was doing. I was so lost. But, like... So never sell Lux. Is that just because... The fact that she's so great as a Lux 2 or because my position is way more likely to be a uh, Hunter again, such Warwick. Uh, yeah, Warwick. The reason is Warwick. No. You're con like, you have, you're building Warwick items, you're considering going Warwick, so... Also, you still haven't slammed that many items. Okay, so now it's, now it's Locket, I guess. Like, yeah, you are greeting, like, it's fine, I guess, because you're the first, but... GA, now that's... That's just bad in my mind. I, I get that. You, you'll see how... Oh, shit, okay, okay, so. this... Okay, so, GA Slam, I don't think is the best. Mm -hmm. And... Do you think it's Locket? It um, could be Locket. I mean, if you're going Warwick, I mean, at this point, you might as well wait two more rounds. Okay. Because my thought process was, yeah, I didn't like the items I had to choose from. And I thought, yeah. once again, if I'm going 9, what item is better than a GA when I'm going to have some random 5-cost carry? But but you're going to have a 4-cost carry. You're, ha you're going to have a 4-cost carry for sure. It's going to be Warwick, Ash, or Jin. Like, yeah. looking at those items. And then, I don't really love you putting, uh, putting uh, gold into levels already. To, why, to see if I can't actually go 9 in. Because, like, maybe you get shit on too much. And you decide to stick with 8. Okay, that's... I see. Like, you're still relatively far off. Like, this looks like a game that you could go 9. But mm -hmm. you're gonna, like... Going 9 is super expensive. I've, I've paid the price. Like I've stopped, I've stopped forcing fast nine as soon as I hit diamond two. I, I plateaued a diamond two on my Smurf. Like I just couldn't continue climbing because I was just forcing level nine. So I'm a lot more cautious now. Cautious now. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And I'm not That's... even sure this is your strongest board. 
So what would a strongest board here be? Like, other than obviously, like if I drop my fortune. <coughs> Uh, okay, you don't... Why would you buy the Kenny? I don't know, man. Um, so you don't want to drop the fortune. I would have dropped the fortune a long time ago. As soon as you started losing, you dropped the fortune. Yeah. I'm not worried about paying. That's for sure, but I wasn't... I would have rolled, like, rolled a little bit on 8 just to see if you hit something, like... Because Tom Kench is not going to do shit for you. Like, this board is... Mm -hmm. Like, you're just going to bleed a lot of HP. Like, the earliest you can... Yeah. You can possibly level up his after carousel, and you'll be around twenty gold, uh, twenty to thirty HP by then. Mm -hmm. Jin is good, so those items are perfect for Jin. Okay. Yeah, so I, I I think you're definitely definitely right on the roll at least a little bit on A because I know right now I'm not expecting myself to cash out. I'm not. Thinking like, oh, I'm on a four win streak. Awesome, let's cash out. Yeah, that was. But for me right now, I'm saying like, how far off from nine am I? But I would have liked rolling whatever down to. So here it, it would have been yeah, Morello and. Uh... No, what? Wait, yeah. what did you make? Yeah. Wait, this is so sort of confusing. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What did you make? Yeah, I made. Uh, decap and um, red buff because right now okay I'm once again, I, I don't think I'm right but I, I was thinking like okay this is those are gin items and then I'll play ribbon with decap red buff and some other item oh okay okay this is GG this is GG okay you lost the game here why the fuck would you do this what can you do now 20 gold it was gonna sell what can you do right now like, now you can I just mean, slowly die off. That's what what's going to happen now. So, assuming I was forced into going nine, how, what, what are sort of the thresholds you think? Because my thought was, it's going to take me one round of transition, so I want to transition at 50 as opposed to 30 health. And I thought that 20 gold plus selling my board, I thought I had whatever, 35 gold to work with. Yeah. <laughs> and how much does a chosen legendary cost? Fifteen. Yeah, and another two star legendary, and you're out of gold. Like you need extreme amounts of like obscene amounts of gold to make this work. Like twenty gold, no way. Twenty gold, you're gonna pray for a top four right now. I can tell you that. Getting down to twenty gold. Okay. Cause your board is like kind of shit, and you need to like. Actually, get a decent board. And with 20 gold, okay, fine. You have, maybe you have 40 gold, I guess. But <laughs> you could have waited. And you need to send the Tom Kench. Like, yeah, and now you should roll. No, you're making useless shit. <laughs> you just... Yeah, I'm not sure I wanted to put him in after I grabbed him. Obviously, other than my positioning being bad, did it make more sense to put those items on Ash right here or to put them on Warwick still? Uh, well, considering you have nothing for Warwick, I would have put them on Ash. Uh, you should pick up, like, the Lux and stuff, like... No. No, we don't want, we don't want that. We don't want to call... Like, you're nine! Why do you go to nine? So, yeah, I... I'm with you there, and I think this is how it, it proves what you said best, which was I didn't have enough gold to ro roll. Exactly. So mind. now you pick up like a desperate cultist gin. Yeah. Which just feels like, what the fuck? I went to nine, and now I'm playing a cultist gin, and this is like, is this a board that says you're level nine? Like, this is a level eight board. Mm -hmm. Right? This is a completely level 8 board. Like, you have a chosen 4 cost. You have two, uh, like, two legendaries at 1 star. So, it, this is, like, you're level 8. Mm -hmm. So, you wasted 80 gold, but you're still level 8, essentially. Gotcha. Okay. I, I definitely agree. 
So it's like it's like a feel thing. Like you you just you just can't go nine this early. And I posted on my Discord like yesterday or two days ago where I went nine after Carousel, sold my board and almost survived. I got a fifth because I had not enough. I didn't have enough gold. After selling my board, I had like I had like forty gold, which was not good enough. What's should I have taken? Because I was thinking I wanted Hodge there, but then I saw the guy under it. But did it make more sense to just grab the um, Shroud versus trying to grab an item for Kane? No, you want can item, and you I don't know what the stage want. Like your board is kind of like random, random ass shit. Indeed. We're definitely getting the. Yeah, so you can sell Sejuani and buy Zillion for sure. Mm -hmm. And put the death cap on Kane. I do think I do, but I don't. If okay. In this round. No. I would put the death cap on oh. Kane. What is the Kenny doing there still? Like three keeper, I guess. Yeah, so I will say I kind of like that I kept him in there because everything I have is almost one star. So I thought yeah. it was actually a lot of value for a couple rounds to play him before just saying, oh, look, here's another synergy on a one star five cost. Uh, when are you playing Irelia, by the way? When, when are you playing Lilia? Like, your board is. You're not yeah. rich enough to have a board like this. I know, and that's. that's and that's what I was saying. I, I do agree. I think the, the real important takeaway is, yeah, is I needed to roll on eight because I wasn't actually meaningfully stronger. But my thought process was still, I don't love Coltis Jin. I think I might uh, roll again. I want to hold on to these units in case I get two costs. But I, I was quite, I was honestly, I was lost, which is why I wanted to have this coaching session on yeah. this game. So it was, either, it was either roll on eight, either roll on eight, or pray that you survive till after Carousel and then you could go nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will say that with Coltis Jin, because I had a team or two, so I still had Sharpshooter in, he at least saved me tons and tons of stuff. Yep. Like the fact that I've been shooting since I got him made me feel yeah. like even though that is a level 8 chosen, like I'm happy I took him. It just, I was forced to take him because I didn't have the money to do anything else. And now, like, now you should have sold him, by the way. See, I, yeah, it makes sense. And I, I, it, it crossed my mind, but I'm just like, my thought process is really... Because if you mind. sell him, you get to 50, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I and do. now you have, now you have 50 gold and you can roll for a better chosen. Right. Okay. So and whatever you pick up, like, that can use the, that can use the items you have on Jin, you play yeah, and who can use it though? Because I'm not any sure sort of hunter, use... sharpshooter. It doesn't so matter that much. Not going to be my five cost chosen. Yeah, well, you can use a hodge. Hodge is actually okay. So yeah. Uh, you definitely want. Oh yeah, mystic. Okay. Yeah, this is this goes. Yeah, that's weird. Mm-hmm. And was it was it ever blue buff on Yone and then death cap on uh, Kane instead? I like the blue buff on Kane. I do like that. Okay. So you played that better than I thought. I'm like never... the level up and the, the like. Yeah, you're playing it okay, but it's like this is not a fast nine board. You could have just rolled on eight, and you could have spiked like this on eight, and then go nine, yeah. and then like sold your chosen, and then like actually spiked even more. Because, like, this board is okay, but this board is, like, like what I'm saying, it's okay. It's not a board saying, I high roll out of my ass early, look what I got. Right? Yeah. Because if you look at the other guys, um, they ha they're at a comparable strength. Uh, so, with given what I currently have with my board... Uh, where should my Azir soldiers be? What what should I be thinking about them? Because I have enough clump where I don't just need the Azir soldiers to be protecting my um, Jin. Finally, we're rolling. Like, why do you have so much gold? Um, I have no <laughs> idea what I'm doing. I'm like, I'm winning. I don't want to sell anything. Uh, or I don't want to sell my Jin while I'm winning. But I have no idea. So 
should I be rolling to just try to find Raven Cassio? Or am I rolling to find just five I start two costumes to put in? Oh, this is tough, but like you have so much gold. Like, yes, you're <coughs> excuse me, you're win streaking like crazy. So that's thank you. That's that's good. So you can just pick up legendaries, have them on your bench, like keep Warwick, keep Ash. Sell the gin and play Warwick, like ideally play Ash or play another gin. Right? But like find a five cost chosen, because that's like the whole benefit of going to level nine. Mm -hmm. Like the main benefit. Yes, you, you can put in nine units. That's nice. But like the main benefit is having a uh, legendary chosen. And the other thing is uh, your Azure soldiers can be in the front. Uh, because I think as we scouted, there's only people in the front, right? Like they only have front to back damage. Yeah, there's no, no one has maybe 1% came, but for the most part, it's both the people that are left are playing Dust, Jin, Vayne, like Tom was, so some sort of sharpshooter. Yep. Vayne or Jin carry, and then also Ribbon. One, one person has chosen Ribbon, I saw. We get the other one. So if the damage is coming from the front, you want to put the soldiers in the front, just as meat shields. Gotcha. And just like you roll a little bit and you pause and it's just like, what the fuck is going on, man? Because I'm, I'm deep in thought. I'm like, I have no idea what I'm fucking doing. I have all this money. I don't know how to make my board stronger unless I hit what I have left. And I'm saying, I'm like looking around. And I think I saw nine ribbons gone. But why bother with Riven? Like, who cares about Riven right now? I agree, but I just wanted to get, I wanted to get the uh, red buff off of her uh, because she was one star. But I was also like, like I'm never going to hit a Riven. But why not? So like, like, I'm going to stay at 50. Do you even need Keeper right now? Um, I kind of like Keeper because I have the two star um, Azir, but I guess I could yeah, just drop Riven and put in any other Dusk unit. So I want to stay at 20% Dusk. Uh, so you can put in Lilia later. Like, Dusk is not that important. She says, like, put in a lot of legendaries. Just put in legendaries, man. Oh, uh, uh. Like, you're rolling, but, like, you can't hit a chosen legendary. It's like, this board... Mm -hmm. This board doesn't tell me that you're level 9. Yeah. So, either, like, and, either and you... That's what... oh, sorry, go. Yeah, either, like, either you do this on 8, and you're at whatever, like, 60, 70 HP, right? Or you go 9 and you get legendaries. Because what you did is, like, you went 9, then you picked up the, the Cultist Jin because you realized you kind of messed up. But then on the Creep Round, you sell the Cultist Jin and you pivot to legendaries. So let's see, let's see... If you do that, like, I mean, these guys are all playing the same comp, so that's why they're relatively weak. Mm -hmm. Like, if they weren't contested, it would be a lot better. Yeah. No, I, yeah. I mean, better for them. Better for them, obviously. Like, since everyone's, like, since you're contesting them as well. Nice. Okay. So get rid of the Riven. Get rid of the Cassio. Get rid of, like, useless shit. Why do you have random one stars? Why do you not buy that? Buy the Lilia, get rid of the Riven. Yeah. Why do you have 50 gold? Like, ugh. <laughs> like, if you were playing with, yeah, so, with people in Grandmaster or Challenger, they would smack you. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I'm obviously making the wrong decision. The, the one thing I'd say in my defense, since I'm on a seven win streak, is I'm like, if I stay above 50 gold and then I lose, I will sell the gin and try to just put a bunch of uh, uh, whatever, two cost five stars. But I literally had no idea what to do. So I was just saying, just keep money. Don't. But why don't roll then? Cheeky. Why well, roll at all? I, if I'm above 50 gold. There's no way I'm going to be able to roll 80 gold at level nine. That's well, that's what the creep round is for. You can roll throughout this whole creep round. Gotcha. Like you could have, you could have gotten to like I don't know, hundred gold, sold the gin, sold the Riven, sold the Timo, sold the Cassio, uh, maybe the like just like an upgrade like full legendary board. That makes sense. With like I don't know, with like a random, with like a random gin or a random Ash or whatever for for the Deathblade Runans. Mhm. Mm but like in your position, you you should be playing. 
Just sell the gin, just for just for science. Yes. No. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Wait. Um. One thing I was gonna say, which which we didn't point out here, because I, I only realized this one in hindsight. Um. But when I looked on the previous round to see what everyone was playing, there were nine ribbons gone. Yep. Um. But one of the guys died, so that meant three more got into the pool. And so, I I really should have at this point. Like, even if Riven was dumb, like, now there was a point for me to roll because I'd be able to hit one Riven and take him off. And I, and I wish I did that. But why the Instead, fuck do you care about Riven? I don't understand why you give a fuck about Riven at all. Because, because the guy has six Rivens. But, like, and why do you me, care about... Gold, just play the deny game. I'm on an eight win streak. He has six Rivens. The only way he beats me is if he gets nine Rivens. All I have to do is... Contest that one unit that he's contesting. Okay. Before, and I'm fine. And instead, I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to put these, whatever, five costs that aren't even two stars on my bench. Well, you can, okay, so you can, you can, uh, you can put the Riven on your bench, get, get the Sunfire Cape off, and you can just, like, roll for Rivens. Like, you can roll for Rivens and grief him. That's, that's not a problem. Yeah. But, like, you don't have to grief yourself by playing a Riven and a Teemo. Like, why not? Why don't you have a Wayne? If you had a Wayne, you no, could... Teemo? You should watch Teemo in these fights. He's still getting off one blind, and given that this Jin has no um, QSS, I still like the okay. Teemo here, obviously. Okay. He's high value. Um, yeah, here it's like you have the Ezreal. Uh, you, you sell the Lilia, which is dumb, because you can two-star the Lilia. Like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, two-star the Lilia would be good. I was just... I was too worried about dropping. Mystic. Like, what are you even rolling for? Like, just roll for legendaries. Okay, there's a ribbon. Great. So you sell the. Oh God. Just pick up legendaries. Why are you picking up four costs? Just pick up legendaries. Just well, pick up legendaries. Here. Legendaries. Uh, with... <laughs> oh my God! Like, what are you? Uh, yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> one where he's got no QSS, so I like the idea of Vanguards with um, Sejuani Aatrox CC, but you can see he hit Ribbon 3 because I was just wasn't willing to actually roll all my money. Nice, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. You should have had this like a long time ago. Yep, I really should have. You need a gin. You need to two-star the gin, by the way. So my thought process at this point is I wasn't expecting myself to play uh, the Jin back in, but I guess that would have made more sense. What I wanted to do was kick the Riven out. Yeah. But I didn't, because you see, she did a little off there. So I almost won this one. Oh, but, close. Yeah, but I died with 30 gold on my bench, and plus 30 gold on my bench, and 30 gold on my bench. <laughs> so you, sp uh, you spent, like, essentially two stages just... Uh, just fucking around, man. From five yeah, no, two, I, I agree. From five two until here, you're just sort of fucking around, like. I I agree. I was fucking around. <laughs> I didn't want to mess with a good thing. There was that part, but like I absolutely would have been so much stronger if I rolled up an eight to that same gin, and then I went nine, and then I could have rolled with what you're saying, like fifty gold, and I could have forced myself into a full legendary comp instead of. Sort of handicapping myself, sort of being unsure. Because, like, here, this is it. Like, here, you just get rid of the gin, you survive, and you can roll a little bit here, find a legendary, you can do lots of stuff here on, on this round. Yeah, and I could have rolled exactly, I could have rolled on the creep round. I didn't need to worry about rolling all that money in between. I could just roll actually on the round. Yeah, I mean, I do that because I know it's like. Too stressful, too much stuff to do. So I, I rolled down to like 30 on the creep round. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm, I'm, I'm glad you got a second because like the way it was looking when you leveled up, when you leveled up to nine on five, two, it was looking like a, like a fifth or something. I'm mm -hmm. glad you, you, you picked up the gin. So like you weren't like adamant on, on uh, getting a chosen, right? They're like getting mm -hmm. a legendary chosen. 
I was not because I realized I didn't have money. Yeah. So that, that's good. But like, you should know that you can't go to nine without money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, yeah, then you have like a shitty ass bench and yeah. So it's kind of like, yes, second place is not bad, but this was a first. Exactly. It should have been a first because I was at 100 HP at whatever, 4, 5, level 8, 50 gold. Like, the fact that I didn't... Oh, and given I, yeah. that, given I was at level 8, well, would you have simply rolled on 4-6 or, or the creep round rather than 5-1 just to try to have first crack at Chosen's and stuff? Or yeah, sure. I mean, <laughs> I think you you were you were eight on the creep round already, so you could have rolled a little bit. Like Tom Kench, he's fortunate. He's good, but he's not a he's not a go nine. He's not like a fast nine chosen. You just uh, yeah, you're just gonna be fast eight as long as you're high rolling. So if you found nine. any sort of like chosen, like a few upgrades, a few upgrades on your board, then you would have been fine. And then you could have just gone nine on on uh, like five seven on the creep round, for example. Yeah. Like you did turn it around. You did sort of turn it around, Sorry. but like, on the other hand, you're saying you were saying, uh, Riven is your your way out, right? I mean, Riven blocking his Riven is is uh, the solution, right? Is the easiest solution for sure. But I didn't even think about the fact that uh, he would go for the Rivens after the other guy died, even though I knew he had six Rivens, but I didn't think about uh, preventing that. So then you just like, okay, then you roll down all of your gold and you just like get four or five ribbons. Like you roll it all down, you get the ribbons. Mm -hmm. But your ribbon is still one star, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't want the item on here, but I wanted the dust keeper connection, which honestly probably is not that strong at this point in the game. I, it would have been totally fine to remove her. The only things that really mattered are Sharpshooter, uh, my five cost legendaries, and Mystic because they were both playing comps that had a good amount of uh, AP. Yep. Plus, like, whatever, high quality, but yeah. Riven should have been Lilia, like you said, and I dropped a ton of Lilias. And then here, like, it almost looked like you were going to do the right, right thing. Like, here, it almost looked like you were going to do the right thing. Sell the Jin. Like, sell the Jin, roll that. Like, yes, even if you three star the Riven, like, I, she might be able to beat Legendary Comp. I'm not 100% sure. She might be able to do it. But... I, I'll know for the next time, but I just didn't have the balls. You're telling me if you're on an H streak and you're not really sure what to do, you would still... Or I guess you are sure what to do. But for me, I was like, I'm on an H streak. I can't... Like, what if I sell and become weaker? I was... Which shouldn't have happened. But, but you can get... Like, we, how do you get weaker than a fucking Teemo Ribbon 1 Casio 1? So the, the reason why, and you already explained how to get around this, is I didn't know who would hold Deathblade Rune on. Because I was literally thinking these items are going on my carry, whoever my carry is. Um, so my thought process was like, this is a Chosen who uses the items well. Don't sell it until you lose. But I do agree. I literally could just put in another Jin 2 or an F2 to hold those Whatever, items. like... And I still would have fine with a carry having a Hodge, uh, whatever... Um, so, okay. Different. So why do we make items like... Yeah, t let's talk through that. What are items good for? Amplifying your unit's usefulness. Sure, uh, but like from the like long term perspective of, of each game, what are items good uh, for? It gives you direction. Okay, but I mean like in terms of like board strength and stuff like that. I guess I I, I guess I have to give you the answer. Yeah, uh, I guess I don't know. <laughs> okay. So the reason we make items is to be stronger and to be able to level up, right? Mm -hmm. And these items served you very, very well until stage six. And on stage six, you can just say, okay, thank you, Deathblade Runans. I no longer need you. I can put in full, I can put in full legendary comp. And you just put them on whoever the fuck, it doesn't matter. Like, the items serve their purpose. You slam them, like, stage 2, stage 3. They serve their purpose. And now you can just ignore them. Because look at, like, you have, look at this. You have full item Kane, And you have full item Yone with, uh, with the Hodge. 
Mm-hmm. And you have a and you have a, um, a locket, and you have a sunfire cape. So you're actually using you're, you're going to use <laughs> two carries plus like one more sunfire cape, and then you waste two items. Mm-hmm. But the items like paid for themselves tenfold. You don't need to use the items right now. They already paid for themselves. If that makes sense. Yeah. Right? So like the items. It, yeah. Only for level nine comps. Like it's only when legendaries do you reach the point where you're fine with like roughly some dead items or is that yes. all? Yes. Uh, legendaries. Uh-huh. The, the additional legendaries. Because I was saying, this is a great level eight comp. This is a great level eight comp. I'd be very happy with this on level eight. So if you weren't at fucking level nine with with I don't know almost a hundred gold, this is fine. But you're like a hundred and fifty gold richer than the typical person with this board, and your net worth is not reflected in your board whatsoever. Mm-hmm. So like these items were great; they serve their purpose. You can like equip them on whoever, like. Deathblade, you can put it on. I don't know. Ezreal has fast enough, like fast attack speed. Runan, Deathblade, he'll he ulti faster as a two star Ezreal, for example. Mm-hmm. Right? So. Yeah. Um, also, you put the Deathblade on the Yone, which I don't understand here, instead of instead of the Hodge. Oh, it just. Wait, the Yone didn't have Hodge though? I thought, I thought he had Hodge though. Oh, maybe you gave him something else, sorry. I don't know. I definitely was moving fast, so I, I'm not sure what I put on. You're probably right. I think I think you're right. I think I did put Deathblade on. So I know that my Lee Sin had Declaw, because that was the only thing I really thought about at the time. So I would put the Declaw on the Chosen, no? Isn't that more important? Well, see, I just disagree there, because I literally thought the only way I'm going to win is if I oh, can't okay. Declaw there, she would have won. Yeah. Time. So he kicked her three times, so I had a chance, but the fact that her mechanic allows her to, you know, reposition is what prevented me from kicking her off. So wouldn't four Mystic be good here? It would, but and I, I did want to do that, but I didn't roll down enough. Like, but I do agree. I that, that's why you I can't get into this position. You cannot get yourself in this position. You need to roll on the creep round. That's why we have a nice creep yeah, round I, here, where you can do all of this crazy shit, and you can roll throughout the whole creep round, you can get down to like 30 gold, 20 gold, whatever, and then you're set for the next stage. Yeah. Like I, I, I'm, sure. like, I always advocate never roll on creep round. It's pointless. But, <laughs> but when you're this far ahead and you have this much gold and you just, like, there's just too much to do right now, right? Yeah. And you just can't do everything you need to do on 7-2. Like, I'm not blaming you. Like, I wouldn't be able to do it either. Like, there's no way, any, like, maybe the best players, they could do it. But, like, I know I can't do it on 7-2. I know I can't do it on 7-1. But I think I can do it on 6-7 plus 7-1. So instead of mm-hmm. 30 seconds, instead of 30 seconds, you have, like, a minute and a bit. So, like, 80 seconds maybe. Because you have, like, the 30 here plus the extra 3 plus the time it's fighting plus, like, some extra time and then another 30. So that that's, like, yeah. instead of 30, you have 75, let's say. So it's, like... What is that? Two and a half times more? Yeah, two and a half times more time. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Lesson learned for sure. For sure. So yeah, definitely like high roll out of your ass. Great. I mean, I, I coached someone in Diamond, like High Diamond, who high rolled like crazy, and they won. But I, like that was the same thing. Like they just high rolled, and then they didn't like they capitalized kind of on it. Obviously, they won, but they could have been way 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 stronger. I learned. So the high roll was fine. The first big mistake is not trying to uh, sell Tom. I knew I wasn't even getting a fortune cash out, so I wasn't holding it for yep. my assets. My thought process was go nine, but it wasn't. Not on that board. Sell, and literally, if I find like any meaningfully good chosen that slash a two star gin ash that's not chosen, I can use those items. Yeah. Like, now I'm fine. Now I'll wait for nine. And then it saved me stay there. <coughs> and what I did do, I absolutely had to sell Jen the Creep Round. Yep. Because I could get so much stronger and so much money. And instead instead waiting and then waiting until I lost to try to panic and do it was never gonna work. So here essentially you threw the game and the Jin chosen bailed you out. <laughs> Thanks. 
Thanks, Jen. We appreciate JSU. Yeah. Like, he completely bailed you out. Oh, not even here. Yeah, so you got him You got him next round. Yeah, yeah I got him the next round. So he, like, he completely bailed you out. Like, this could have just been, this could have just been a, an eighth. Oh, uh, like, sorry, like, yeah. As I mentioned, like, when I saw you level up, I thought, like, oh, shit. This guy can actually, like, not even top four here. So the gen is, like... And you, the, you were shitting on me for that closest gen. But I understand why. Because it's, it's sad that that's what I'm stuck with. But you, you could have just easily gotten it here. Yeah. Because, like, look how much gold you have. Like, you don't have I to... Know, I had so much gold. And that's including leveling up, whatever, 30 gold. Yeah, that's a, including the gold you wasted. But like, yeah. if you look at this board, it's just it's just so bad. Like the board is just so bad. So, I mean, after you leveled way, 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 way early, because because you, you could, right? You leveled because you could, mm -hmm. which is fine. Like going to eight is fine. Right? Okay, here, yeah, 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 here. Look at this. So here, I think here the play was sell the Tom Catch and roll a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't even have to be much. Like, just, just enough to have someone that's just, not... Yeah. ...the whole items, or just a really good two-star. Like, I personally, I love Keeper Ken, for instance, at this stage of the game, because okay. four Keeper with him, when he's the ninja buff, is such a great um, health saver. Yeah. Um, but obviously, he never wins you games, but it's just... That, that's, I feel like, an easy one. And then, obviously, if I hit any of the four-cost Chosens, I would play any of them, including, whatever, a Vanguard Aatrox or something, because yeah. I can make it work with more frontline. Like, I just needed to roll and hit any good Chosen. You just eight. need, yeah, roll, get some upgrades, get a Chosen, and then you can chill and go 9. Yeah. Because imagine you, you hit the Jin here at 82 HP. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, you sack some gold, maybe you roll down to 30 or whatever. Even if you run on a zero here, if you run on a zero here and you hit the gin here, you're going to cruise through stage four and five, and then you can level up and sell the gin. So you'd be, you'd be in the same position on end of stage six, except you'd probably be at like 60, 70 HP. Mm -hmm. So you, 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 like, you'd have a much better cushion. Because like you had yeah. one round. You lost and you had one more round and like obviously it was too much to do so that was GG. But like from this position you could have given yourself so many more rounds. Right? So this is just, just risky. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. And then, so the, yeah, the only other question is item slam, you definitely didn't like the, the decap red buff, which is fair. Um, do you feel that my the GA, given my thought process with the five-star unit eventuality, that was good, or do you not? Do you still think I should have probably slammed lock there for um, saving more HP? I would have I would have slammed lock it and IE, found a chosen that can use it, and then cruise to nine. Gotcha. And then you just, okay, so whatever. You have a death blade, runans, and an and a IE. That's useless. Boo fucking who? You have two-star legendaries. They don't need that much. Like, two-star legendaries by themselves can do a lot. They have a lot of HP. If you have four Mystic, they're almost unkillable. And maybe you have like a random Ash or random Jin uh, sh uh, shooting shit. Gotcha. So like these uh, items are kind of useless. Like you can put them on whoever, but like the, the legendaries carry enough. Especially if you itemize like a Yone or a Kane or a set or whatever legendary you find. Mm -hmm. So like the, the reason we make items is to get stronger and just level up. And, like, either you get stuck on 8, as most people do in most games, you get stuck on 8 with, with, like, some items. Or, if you can't go to 9, then you don't care, like, then you, like, only level 9 is when you don't have to care about your items that much. So that's, that's probably, like, the key takeaway. Yep. Yep. Takeaway learned. Because, yeah, I don't go 9 very often, which is another reason why I wanted to go this, is because it's, like, I have no idea what to do. So... There's well, a lot about my I go nine way game. too often. I go nine you way too often. Nine. Yeah. I love going nine. Uh, I remember. I missed the times when I one tricked mages, and I would almost always just say, oh, sweet, I'm one streaking on eight. I'm just going to three star Ari and win the game. Yeah. Not the smartest, but way simpler. 
I did mean, not contest it. Awesome. I'm just going to keep rolling until I find her. I think I rolled on five and six my last game just to two-star my, my Aphelios and get an easy second. Because I two-starred yeah, him, then know. I three-starred him, and yeah. Like, if you know what you're doing, like, I was rolling, like, crazy on five to hit Aphelios, and then I hit Aphelios, and then I leveled to seven, and then I roll it down, roll it down, roll it down, and then I got to, I got to level eight on, like, eight on uh, six, one or something. And I still got second. Like, That's it, pretty good. You can do whatever you want as long as you know why you're doing it and what, what kind of spike you're looking for. That's like maybe the, the most important thing, like the broader concept, know your power spike. So right now, you, your power spike would be a decent enough chosen, uh, decent enough forecast chosen is your, is your power spike that you yeah. need right now. And then later, uh, which like is a luxury, which doesn't happen every time, you can actually go to, go to nine and find a legendary chosen as your biggest power spike. So, yeah. yeah, like my favorite comp, uh, my favorite comp, which, I mean, it doesn't happen very often, maybe like once in uh, 50 games, once in 100 games. Obviously, if I'm playing in like tournaments with uh, lower ELO players, I abuse it more. But yeah, so something like this is my favorite comp. Just every legendary imaginable. With, uh, I think it's Casio for Dusk, Mystic, Mystic and Dusk. Yeah. If you two star everything like this, no one can fuck with you. And I'm missing one. Yeah, I'm missing if one. you're a nine, you should I'm missing Kane. Whatever you want. There we go. So this is like my favorite comp. That's truly every single five cost, isn't it? Yeah. That? Yeah. And it, <laughs> and, and it wins. It usually wins. Like, as, as like you have a five class chosen, you have almost everything else two star, which you could have done last game, and then you have a Casio for Dusk and Mystic, and like I legendaries like by themselves are just strong yeah. enough. Mm -hmm. Or or alternatively, you take out like something crappy like this, and like this, put in a Shen, and then uh, you can just put in like a Jin, for example, or Jin or or Ash. Like, it doesn't really matter because you, you had these items, right? And I told you, you should have uh, made the IE as well just for even more damage. Because yeah, imagine if you had the IE because, like, you're playing Jin forever. You Don't you want, like, three... Like, Hodge is good, but I think IE is even better, like, even, even more damage. Mm -hmm. So you can play something like this or, like, with an Ash, right? Either one, and then, like, this is the comp anyway. With a mm -hmm. random, random gin or random ash. So that's kind of what you should be aiming for. And like, even if you don't use the items, yeah. But it's good. It's a uh -huh. good, good exercise to think about these things. And like, it, th these concepts are going to apply in set 4.5 as well. If you're going to go for legendaries, just make sure that you have uh, enough gold to roll for them and that you upgrade all your legendaries. Yeah. So what now? Are we doing another one, or are we done, or? Uh, yeah, we'll be done. Oh yeah, because you have we have work. Oh yeah, you have no, work. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, you don't get to see my first where I high roll and I actually get a first. I mean, I guess like I don't think there's much to learn there. Oh no, there still is a bunch. If you watched it, you would, you would be like, "What are you doing?" You 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 would be disappointed. Given it wasn't as high roll this game. But, like, you'd see me quasi-donkey rolling to hit um, Katarina 2 just to try to cash out, even Ooh. though I was at... So, I mean, in the end, I was fine. I so this is you forcing fortune, yeah. right? You, you mentioned that you forced fortune. No, I, I never forced fortune. I just got two games in a row where I hit 14 cash. No, 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 but, but you, you said you rolled for the fortune, like... Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the game where I, yeah, I forced fortune... And I, I feel pretty good about this game just because my board is completely leveled up and I've got a uh, chosen um, Ezreal with uh, items. Yeah. It's day scones. But, I, but I this is a level 9 board. Game. This is a level 9 board. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You have chosen legendary. Like, yeah, you can, you can maybe you can get the Irelia for something better as well here. Mm-hmm. For like a for yeah, like I, a two star set or something or another two star Yone or whatever, but yeah, otherwise it's fine. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know why uh, the Lux positioning is off as well. Lux needs to be on like. Oh yeah, well that's that got messed up because I swapped my Ezreal. Yeah, she's in a dumb position. I don't think I remember to move her though, to be honest. I mean, it's fine. Like you're strong enough. My whole, my whole thought process is I just want my Yone to go on to his Vagar to try to prevent his damage because obviously Lilia's CC is annoying, but the Vagar is um, his most consistent form of damage. Oh, that's what it was because I knew Lux got popped. Yeah, and that's why. Anyway, okay, so, she got popped anyway. Yeah, yeah nice win, nice win. But yeah, you know, you, I'm on like five one or whatever. I'm rolling to try to still cash out on fortune when I really should have done this. Probably the same thing where it's roll on eight for a better chosen, but because yeah. I did get the fortune, I then have my Nikos to just get more two cross fives or five cross two stars. Um, that's a risky play for first. Like I don't like it. Like I personally don't like. I, it's not that I don't like them. It's like I can't risk my LP to do them, right? No, it's easier when you get where for forty two LP for a first and only fifty. Lose fifty for an eighth. It's yeah, not I, I mean, if you're if you're starting master, it's kind of fine. Once you get the grandmaster and challenger, usually you lose a lot more LP. Like I got an eighth the other day, and it took me like the whole day to get it back, because I, I I don't think I got a first. I got like three seconds, a third, and a fourth, and I just barely got back the one eighth. It's so, like the whole day I played just just to get like counter the eighth or like uh, get back my LP. So yeah. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Well, thank you. You're welcome, uh, Paper. Take was, care, man. Yeah. Super helpful.